said it before I'm gonna say it again, it smells like bananas. <laughs> Hi you guys, welcome back to The Clean Beauty Code. I am so excited for today because we are talking all about clean beauty powders and we are going to be comparing and contrasting them. And mostly we're gonna be comparing and contrasting the Kosas powder with the Ilia powder because I know people compare and contrast these brands all the time. However, someone asked me to also compare and contrast to the LYS Beauty one. So that one is gonna be talked about. We're also gonna be talking about the Honest Beauty one because that's one I've talked about on this channel before. And we're gonna be comparing and contrasting against my two favorite conventional powders and I think the most popular conventional powders out there. So we're gonna be talking about the um, Laura Mercier setting powder and we're also gonna be talking about the Hourglass setting powder. So without further ado, I feel like we should get into it. We got a lot to say. We got a lot of comparing and contrasting to do. So if you're excited for this video and more videos like this, then please like and subscribe. That is so helpful. And also please leave a comment down below on what your favorite powder is. And without further ado, let's jump in and talk about some clean beauty powders. All right, you guys, let's get into it. So first things first. Actually, you know what? I was about to, no, let's do first things first here. First, we have the I feel like everyone's favorite ride or die powder, the Laura Mercier powder. Um, this powder I find to be a little bit drying. So if you're the type of person who has very oily skin, like this would probably be the powder that you go for. And if you are less of an oily skin person or, you know, are setting your under eyes and you don't like that, like more like drying feeling under your eyes, then you probably are one that loves the hourglass powder. This one comes in like multiple shades now. This one just comes in the one shade, but it isn't like a true like white powder. It is it has a little bit more of a yellow cast to it, but not super yellow, um, but a little bit yellow. So those are the two powders I feel like in the conventional world, I was grabbing a lot prior to kind of trying some of these powders um, and they're really good. I mean, there's a reason that they're called followed, right? Okay, let's talk about the clean beauty powders because that is what we're here for. This is the Kosas Cloud Set powder and this is in the shade Pillowy. This is my shade that I picked and I really, really like this shade. So if you are my complexion, this is a really, really good one. Um, the one below it looked good, but almost a little too yellowy for me. And the one above it looked good too. I really liked, I mean, they all looked really nice and probably would all performed really well. But this one to me is just like that perfect shade. Um, I don't like powders that have a lot of pigment to them or like are going to darken or lighten too much if that makes sense, like it's just gonna do what I need it to do. This is definitely more of a natural finish. If you like a matte finish, sweetie, she is not for you um, because it's definitely natural. Like it definitely sets and mattifies to a certain extent, but throughout the day you will be like your oil is going to peek through and it is just going to have a natural finish. Like you're not gonna be mattified all day. So if you're that type of person, this is not for you. However, if you like a more natural finish, you like something that isn't super drying under the eyes, this is definitely for you. This again is also a pressed powder. So a lot of people do not like loose powders. So if you're a pressed powder type of person, she's here for you. If you like a matte powder, but you don't like a loose powder i have one coming for you later in the video that will be good for you um but this is again natural finish press powder does what she needs to do looks cute all day big fan of this now in comparison to the ilia one the reason that i'm creating this video the ilia powder first of all comes in one shade if you are a darker complexion you do not have to worry about the showing like a weird white cast i don't know how it's possible because this is white and we all know the makeup forever like HD powder that is like crazy white and has insane flashback. Like you don't really have that with this. I don't know how it doesn't. I, I wonder if it's cause it's so finely milled, um, but this doesn't have like a weird white cast. And if you look at reviews, cause I went to go look at what other people with like dark complexions, deep complexions were saying, and they weren't saying that this gave them a white cast. They actually really enjoyed it. Um, which is great. This is a very mattifying one and this is a loose powder. And again, this only comes in one shade. This will mattify you, but this also gives you like a filtered look to the kind of skin, like a a blurred look to the skin, if you will. I don't find that this does that as much, but it does gives you a gives you it does give you a more blurred effect. This one just does it more. This is true, true mattifying. This is not. So that's kind of the difference here. This is also a loose powder. A lot of people prefer a loose powder because they like to bake. This would probably be the one to go for 
in that kind of realm, if that makes sense. Let's move on to the one that is mattifying in a pan. So why did I close this? I've been opening and closing things like for the past, I feel like for the past couple hours, I've been doing a bunch of filming and stuff and I, I've been chipping my nails like crazy. Oh my God, this isn't even the right, please hold. All right, let's talk about these two in comparison to each other. They're both pressed pan powders. Um, this, they both come in multiple shades. This one is a natural finish. This one is like a true matte finish. Um, I don't like wearing this one under the eyes because it is so, so matte and I don't like matte powders under my eyes. However, this one actually really like keeps your stuff at bay. Um, but if you're like the type of person that likes to apply a ton of powder, this is definitely pressed harder in the pan. Um, so if you, you'll just have to dip in a good, like more than like if it was a loose powder, obviously. Um, this one, I don't, like this one, I don't have to press in as much to get more product. However, they're both really, really beautiful. I like the finish of both of these. I have the translucent shade in this one, um, but it has a bunch of different shades. I think there's like five shades in the setting powder. Um, in this one, there's so many shades. I don't even know how many shades are in them, but these are really, really good. I, again, I don't wear this under the eyes. I will wear this one under the eyes, um, but this one will, like oil peeks through, like this does not, mattify 100% and I feel like when it sets because oil peeks through it doesn't like hold everything in place all dang day but it does a really really actually no it does it just you get oily I mean it just this one you get oily with and this one you don't so that's kind of the difference here um, and then I also have the Honest Beauty, which is a loose powder. So this is a yellow powder. It comes in one shade. It's a loose powder. In comparison here, I would say they're both pretty mattifying, but I would say this one is more mattifying. Um, this one has a yellow cast, and I know that makes some people nervous because it is like truly, like a truly yellow cast. Um, and it makes some people nervous because they're afraid that it will make them look too warm in tone or like, mess up their neutral complexion or whatever. This doesn't do that. This is a really nice and easy, finely milled powder that does its job. The only thing I will say about this one, I said it before I say it again, it smells like bananas. It smells like banana yogurt. And I don't understand why it smells like banana yogurt, but it does. Um, I don't know if it's cause it's like a, I don't know. It's like a, I was gonna look if it was like a banana brightening kind of style, but no. And I was like, oh, that's cute. Cause it's like banana brightening banana powder. Um, but these are actually both really, really blurring. If you're the type of person that likes a blurring powder, I would go this direction here. These two do a really good job of like blurring and kind of creating not a filter, but just really like going over those imperfections. Um, and I don't like with this one specifically, it doesn't trend to ring. It doesn't cling to dry patches and this one doesn't really either. Um, the only one that kind of clings to dry patches ever so slightly is this one. Um, just depending on how much you apply the this one doesn't cling to dry patches at all i feel like they all do such a good job but they all do very different things so let's do a quick synopsis okay you want blurring okay you want blurring and you want like a good mattifying effect these are your two here um i don't find that either leave like a weird white cast this one ever so slightly leaves a cast but not so much where it like affects the entire look um this one is more affordable than this one obviously this one's honest beauty and this one is Ilya. but they are both really really good i like both of them a lot these are two pressed powders here um they both have multiple shades in them. Unlike these, if you're looking for shade options, I would go here because these are only the shades in kind of the line. Um, they're both really good. One is mattifying and one is not. I would say out of both of these, if you're looking for something that's more blurring, but you don't want something that's a loose powder, I would probably go the Kosas route. It gives a little bit more of a blurring effect, but Overall, neither of them are super blurring, which doesn't bother me. I really just want my powder to set. If you want something good for your under eyes, I would go here out of all of them um, because I mean, this one does a good job under the eyes. I don't love this under the eyes personally, because again, like this is kind of what I like for under my eyes. The conventional one that I would wear under the eyes is the um, 
hourglass oh my god i cannot think of names i cannot speak today am i okay um the hourglass one is what i would wear under the eyes and i would say that this does a comparable job except this is obviously a pressed powder so there it's just a little bit different but in general i don't like a lot of powder under my eyes i like to just kind of set and make sure my mascara doesn't run um because that's the worst that's the worst when mascara runs and you're like oh my god why didn't i just set it um and yeah those are kind of the powders comparably compared to each other. Uh, I really like all of these powders. I think that they do such a good job. They look beautiful on the skin. They give you a beautiful finish. Um, and it really just depends on your preference, right? They're all really, really good and I love them all. Have you used them? If you have used them, which one's your favorite? Which ones do you not like? Um, I actually like all of them, but again, it's dependent on occasion. Like if I'm looking to be snatched to the gods, I'm going one direction. If I'm looking for something that's more everyday, I'm going this direction here specifically. Um, and if I want something where I know it's gonna be like a really sweaty day, like this is the more like everyday direction I go. Um, super sweaty day i'm going here if i'm going for something that's just more natural and easy peas lemon squeeze i'm going here and honestly snatch to the gods like photography all of that i'm probably going this direction here um i have tested this with flash i don't have an issue with flashback with this however um I think it's always good to test. Even though it, I didn't get flashback, it's good to test because there's nothing worse than flashback in a picture, honestly. Is there? I can't think of anything. Um, and yeah, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.